Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi everyone, I'm Brisa. Such an honor to make this video and joining Halajar Education Fair 2021. First of all, all praises and thankfulness to Allah Almighty for everything. Salawat and salam goes to our messenger, Rasulullah Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, his family, companions, and all people who always effort to istiqamah in following him. Guys, do you have someone who cares for you? Think of you every day and is an important person. That's my mom. I'm sure most people in the world love their mother, but do they all show this to her? I don't think so. To say I love you to your mother may seem awkward. I know it because it also happens to me whenever I feel grateful about something my mom did for me in the past and want to thank her. I hold it back and say to myself that she already knew it. In this moment, I'll talk about my relationship with my mom. My mom is my friend, teacher, and guardian. Yes, she's extraordinary. She always supported me more than anything. I want to remember we're having fun together, spending a lot of time together, we're playing games, big cookies, and cheese bread that I love so much, and love so hard with her that our bellies hurt. And I want to remember the smile on her face when she gets home from work, and when she's angry and sad when I didn't do my homework and help her. Well, time flies. My mom told to me about many things. One of the things she talked to me is about what will happen in the future when I grew up. I remind myself of one fact that one day I will lose her and I will regret everything that I wanted to do and say, but I didn't. So, I try to do anything I can to not regret that moment in the future. I always remind myself to appreciate what my mom do for me. And I learn to say love to her frequently and develop a daily habit to do that. Abu Hurairah, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, A person came to Messenger of Allah and asked, Who among people is most deserving of my fine treatment? He said, Your mother. Your mother? Your mother. Then your father. Al-Bukhari and Muslim. The meaning of the hadith are, First, Islam places great respect and honor towards parents and holds mothers in the highest regard. Second, Mothers possesses greater responsibilities towards her child. Carrying our mother is also termed as another way of serving God in Islam. Third, great care and respect should be shown towards our mother, as she is our entrance into paradise. Following hadith, your heaven lies under the feet of your mother. Another hadith declared by the Holy Prophet, God has forbidden you to be unedifiable to your mother. By that hadith, we realize that Allah forbids unlawful and brutal behavior towards mother. Last but not least, I will say thank you very much, mom, for your love and for everything. And I love you too. Okay then, let me play a beautiful song. It's called, Mother, How Are You Today? Enjoy it! Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. No, no, no.